Linegar is a rural electric cooperative. Our service territory consists of 13 different counties. Through those counties, we have about 7,005 miles worth of line. That's an awful lot when you sit down and think about it and put a pencil to paper. The main service we provide is we sell electricity. We serve everything from irrigation wells to farm and ranch homes to oil wells. 43.6% of last year's load uh, was irrigation. About 15% of it was farm and ranch homes. And other services we provide, we have electric hot water heaters that we sell directly to our members. We have electric grills that we sell, of course anything electric, but uh, we also have a solar pump program that's available to our members uh, for guys that have windmills that go down or have just wells they need to pump a little water to cattle with and they're able to purchase a solar pump through us as well. The communities we serve are wonderful places. They're very patient. They see those guys out working, which means an awful lot to them. I've heard stories from the linemen about folks stopping by with donuts and coffee, even, even little ladies making them breakfast burritos and bringing them out. And another good thing about those storms is that there's other cooperatives in the state. And when issues like that occur, we can count on those other co-ops to show up and help. Uh, Co-ops work really well together. We've gone and helped them. They come and help us. It's, it's just what you do, and the communities are always appreciative to see our guys out working. One thing about the people we deal with, especially in ag, is that they're very genuine. They're the kind of people that when they tell you they're going to do something, they do it. They're very genuine, and they're the kind of people you can seal a deal with with a handshake. The Ag Museum uh, was brought to our attention. Uh, it's, a, it's a funny story to go back. Our current CEO, Greg Henley, his first job was the assistant county agent for Lynn County. And the county agent he worked under was Stanley Young. And in 2015, Stanley called and approached Greg about Lenegar possibly sponsoring the Night for the Museum event. And Greg happily obliged. And it's been something we've done ever since 2015. And that following year, we joined the museum as a member. And we just see the benefit that it brings to this area and the importance of agriculture.